So hi and welcome to another video and today we're going to be finding out the differences with kale switches. We're going to be testing out the GM 8.0, the transparent one, the GM 4.0 red, GM 2.0 teal, the white dot kale and the black dot kale. We're going to be checking out the measurements to see if there are any higher for pre-travel. If you're going to be changing the switches and if that's going to affect your press when you're using them, we're going to be checking out the actuation force, noise levels and latency as well. So if you're not familiar with this channel, it's going to give you data and statistics that you can view to give you a competitive edge over your rival gamers. There's plenty more content on my beardybob.com website or this channel, there's loads of stuff. And I also stream on a Friday night on Twitch TV as well, where I check out all the latest mice, mouse pads, keyboards, monitors, things like that. So this is a heavily requested video, so let's get into it. So first of all, we're gonna kick off with the lifespan. So the differences here is the GM 8.0 transparent has a lifespan of 80 million clicks. GM 4.0 red has 60 million clicks. GM 2.0 teal has 20 million, the white dot Khalith has 5 million, and the black dot also has 5 million. The GM transparent are the latest ones. If you weren't familiar, they're the ones that have just come out now. They're the ones that look to be in the Rocket Jump Ninja Mouse. I've done a video on that on my thoughts from his presentation as well, well worth checking out. So let's take a look at the switch body measurements here. Now this is without the dot at the top. The 8.0 transparent comes in at 6.59 millimeters. GM 4.0 red comes in at 6.56 millimeters. 2.0 teal comes in at 6.57 millimeters. The white dot is 6.56 millimeters and the black dot is 6.55 millimeters. And you can see here, there's not really much difference in these. There's about 0 0.05 millimeters difference between all of them here. They are very, very close with the 8.0 transparent being the highest here and the lowest being the black dot. But this is so minor this, that this could be something to do with the caliper here at this measurement but it's something to bear in mind. I did do a few little tests and you can certainly tell on something like Hawano, they feel a little bit larger, which we'll be getting into the other switches here, but for these, these are pretty close really, to be fair. So moving on to the dot as well, which obviously you press down here, the 8.0 transparent is 7.07 millimeters. GM 4.0 red is 7.14 millimeters. GM 2.0 teal, 7.09 millimeters. The white dot, 7.19 millimeters. And the black dot, 7.07 millimeters and the difference here is about 0.13 millimeters across the range here so slightly more here with the highest one being the white dot here and the lowest being between the black dot and the transparent 8.0 here so it looks like overall the white dot seems to have a higher dot red one seems to be in the middle of them here but this could affect some of your pre-travel here Something also that I tested was the thickness of M3 insulation tape here that you might use to pack it out to remove pre-travel. It's a trick here if you want to show you how to do this in a video, let me know in the comments and I will do. And the M3 tape that I use is 0.16 millimeters here. So it plugged the gap between them here. So it can remove some rattle between the button and the switch. So let's take a look here at the force gauge. Now these were tested directly onto the switch here. This is in a common mouse, which we can change. This is an ROG mouse with interchangeable switches. So we get the same PCB flex. This is going to give us a good reading here that's across the board here. There's no differences in the mouse, the position, the angle or anything. It's all identical here. So we took around 50 samples. I took the 10 lowest out of those samples to give us an average here. And this is what this average is created from. So the average here force push the 8.0 transparent is 62 grams. The GM 4.0 red here is 64 grams, so slightly higher. The teal 2.0 here is 69 grams, so quite a bit stiffer there. The white dot is 69 grams as well and the black dot is 66 grams. So what does all this mean? Well, it means that the 8.0 is the lightest average press by about two grams over the red Khalif, with the hardest being the white dot or the teal. What I've also seen is people trying to use scales to try and measure the actuation force here. And here's an example of me using that. And you can see it's pretty inaccurate. The best bet is to use a force gauge meter. And even then there's probably some inaccuracies in it without having a machine to do this to manage the force. But this is probably one of the best readings you're gonna get at the moment, unless you can give me another option. Let me know in the comments if there is, but for now, this seems to be the best way to test it. So let's take a listen to how these sound each switch, and then I'll show you the decibel reading average so you get an idea of how loud these are if you're going to be gaming with them.
The room is quite loud anyway, but I took the first 10 readings here and averaged them out again. And the GM 8.0 transparent was 51 decibels. The red 4.0 is 42 decibels. Quite a bit difference there. Teal 2.0, 49 decibels. The white dot was 49 decibels. The black dot was 49 decibels. And then taking a look here, overall, you can see that the GM 4.0 red is the lowest here by quite a bit, nearly 10 decibels and the transparent 8.0 is the loudest one here. So the final test is using the new NVIDIA Reflex. I've got 360Hz monitor here, the PG259QNR from ROG. I'm using also the compatible ROG mouse with the NVIDIA Reflex here, so we can use the NVIDIA performance statistics on the overlay to tell us the latency. And we're gonna use Fortnite, which is fully compatible at the moment. With this technology, there's not many games out that allow you to do this, hence we're using Fortnite for this. So each sample was taken over one minute, and over that minute, I've picked the average latency, which you can see here anyway on performance overlay from NVIDIA, and I've taken the highest and the lowest to give you an idea of what the latency is like. So the 8.0 comes in an average latency of 0.6, minimum latency is 0.1, and a maximum latency of one millisecond. GM Red comes in with a average latency of 0.6, minimum latency of 0.1, and a maximum latency of 1.4 milliseconds slightly higher on the maximum here. The teals come in with an average of 0.4, which is slightly lower than the other two. Minimum latency of 0.1 and a maximum latency of one millisecond. The white dot comes in with an average of 4.0, the minimum latency 0.1 millisecond and the maximum one millisecond, no real change. And then the black comes in with an average of 0.4, a minimum of 0.1, and again, maximum latency of one millisecond. So pairing these all together, this means that the black dot, the teal and the white dot seem to have a lower average millisecond response with the reds having the highest maximum here, but again on par with the transparent eights on average and minimum latency. I don't think the human can feel the difference in latency here. It's that minor between all these switches. So my thoughts here after all this and what people are asking me is which switch would I pick? I would certainly pick between the red Khalith, which I certainly still do prefer, and the 8.0, which is the transparent. They're so close that I don't think we're gonna notice. Yes, the maximum latency did peak at 1.4 milliseconds on the red switch, but I think really, you're not going to really notice that distance on these Khalids. I prefer how it's quieter. I also like how it's one of the lowest force averages here as well. It's easy to press. And overall, I've had no pre and post travel issues with it on all the mice I've put it in so far. So the height on the body is perfect for all mice at the moment. So that would be my preference. Would probably still to go with the red or the 8.0, depending which one I could get hold of. Both are very good. I'm going to be testing a lot more switches. Got all the Omrons, all the Oanu, some Cherries, and a lot of other switches to go through here to test, which we'll be doing on the next one. So let me know in the comments if you want me to do any other tests before I do that. I hope you've enjoyed this and check out my other videos, especially if you're into modding mice. I've got loads. Put some links in the description for other playlists and I'll see you soon. Catch you later. Bye bye.